So before we actually get into the rest of today's video, I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is going to be sponsored by Luckview. Luckview was kind enough to send me over their baby car camera. If you guys remember in previous videos, I reviewed this for you guys. Actually, the very first version that they had. This is their second version that they came out with. It has much more additional features, more convenient for the average consumer, especially for moms like me and possibly you. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little quick unboxing with you guys and show you guys a little bit of insight on how it works. If you're interested, all the links will be down in my description box below. If I do have a coupon code that will also be listed down below, I'll show you guys the camera very first one was also designed a little bit differently so i, I like how they kind of did a little remix to this one you just basically pull it out the box and this is what you get instruction manual here you are with the monitor but this is the monitor and i really love how clean and sleek it is if i'm not mistaken i believe the first one is not flat all the way around I like this because it's very flat one thing that's different about this one you are able to put an sd card in here it does come with buttons on the side as well and the wiring for the monitor to connect to your car moving on further i'm going to open this up this this is where all the necessities are at mount for it also a bit different i believe um you just basically plug this in and you're able to lock it with a twist and this part you just stick on you're able to have this and it also has full functions to be able to move any way possible here go connects to your camera you're able to use this port and plug it in and then have a push of a button um, you're able to turn it on. This is the actual camera, which is different in the BM2. Camera looks a bit different. Um, this is what the camera looks like. I love the orange detailing. I know the other camera is like this, um, but I believe this also clamps on differently. So I noticed right off rip, instead of actually using the Velcro, in the very first one, you have to Velcro it around your seat like your head headrest of your seat this one you can latch it on to where the actual um adjustment of the seat is at which i actually like that better and i think it looks more cleaner i really love 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 the camera some good things about this camera it has night vision and it's in color unlike the very first one the first one you're unable to put it in color it shows like you guys know how night vision looks this one when it's dark outside and it's nighttime it shows up in color which is amazing and has its pros when it comes to that this is definitely a great great item to add to maybe your baby registry if you're expecting especially if you have a newborn like me or you have kids little ones you always want to know what they're doing in the back and sometimes it can be a hassle looking inside your viewfinder this is very convenient because it sits right up on your dashboard um i know especially having a newborn you always want to make sure they're adjusted correctly inside of their car seat that nothing is on them blankets etc so this is a great baby registry item to add on your registry super duper easy super convenient and i absolutely love it so if you're a mom like me and you're looking for something convenient enough to go in your car and you may be worried about your little ones luck view has you covered they are definitely a quality company where if you want to invest in something really nice and that's going to help you as a mom 
purchase you one put it on your baby registry if you don't want to purchase you one and you're expecting but definitely check out luck view all the links will be down in the description box below that is today's sponsor thank you luck view for sponsoring today's video let's get right into the rest of the video hey girl welcome back to your girl's channel or welcome to my channel if you're new yeah so i decided to start vlogging and as you can tell by the title you already know it's gonna be a spend the day with a mom how am i gonna title this y'all gonna know by the title girl we all sick all sick i'm sick the only one that's not sick is the baby and that's a good thing i do not want her to get sick it's not good for newborns to be sick but i'm sick layla's got a little runny nose Tayden and Caden got a cough, runny nose, congested. Girl, we all sick. As of right now, let me put y'all down because I'm wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. As of right now, I actually have just Tayden. I mean, not Tayden. Tayden and Layla are at school. I just have the younger two, which is Caden and Harlem. Harlem is down. Um, I just basically put her to sleep. I actually just got done pumping. I'm gonna show you how much milk I have stored and what has been helping with my breast milk because a few girls actually DM me on Instagram asking me like um how do I keep my milk supply up and everything like that and baby it's looking real good because I was in a drought. If you guys know I was in a drought but now it's I'm pumping and pumping and pumping and I'm gonna show you how much I have stored but I had just got done pumping milk and she just got laid down and then Kaden is supposed to be taking a nap. It is 12.45. Around 12.30ish, 1 o'clock is when I give him his nap because he starts acting chaotic. He acts crazy around a certain time and I think it's because he's fighting his sleep. Like, he's really not trying to go to sleep he's like fighting it and he needs to lay down so he's in there but right now i can hear that he's up but i'm gonna let him do him right now while i'm vlogging okay but normally i would go in there especially if i have my monitor i would tell him on the monitor like lay down it's time to take a nap guys the house is pretty much overall quiet um i'm actually about to make me some tea i need some tea because baby my throat is sore and before the kids come home, I'm actually about to place an order to get some medicine for them because the medicine that I was giving them is almost out. So I need to give them some more medicine. Um, and um, I'm also going to look up like remedies for their bath as well because I feel like sometimes it has to do with like the aroma. So if you give them like aromatherapy baths that helps with your congestion, being congested and stuff. It helps as well so yeah i'm gonna do all that here in a second i just need to get my life together um actually this morning when i was dropping off tayden i went to target and i'm gonna show y'all a few things that i got there because i got a few things and i got some cute little items too that i want to show y'all if you haven't watched my last video which is basically my um my night routine with the kids y'all would know that baby dove had um sent me a package like their pr package and they recently came out with their melanin skincare line for babies and i'm looking at the i'm wearing this shirt right now it says black super mama okay and then it has writing on the back but i completely forgot about this because they reached out to me months ago and i remember them telling me like it's not the brand the line is not going to launch until later on basically next year which was they sent me this um last year at the end of the last year so when it came i had a package i was like i don't know what company sent me um this but basically um i realized it was baby dove and look at the packaging i just love how it has black woman because it's basically a black it's melanin it's for black people okay and um basically in it y'all probably already seen it if you watched my last video it got stickers and then I love love how they personalized me a card and I don't feel like grabbing that <laughs> basically it's pictures of me and the kids on there I'm so happy that they sent me this but um, I'm gonna do like a little review or whatever I'm um, doing like an Instagram reel with it but yeah y'all I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Target real quick first things first I got these pink drinks. Remember I told you I was going to try this and see if it was good. And baby, I got a whole bunch because Target 
always have them everywhere else i go like myers walmart they never have it target has like a whole full shelf full of them so i grabbed six of these i already got four left and i got five four or five they're really good the only thing that i wish that i need to actually get on is um i like to put strawberry puree in mine this doesn't have strawberry puree in it so but it's still good get you some and then I ended up grabbing this jug. And I'm probably like, what is this for? I don't know where I want to put it. I think I want to put, um, like, juice in here. Either juice or some type of something that I made. Okay, that's that's the goals. But I like how it's glass. It's heavy duty. It was only $5 in, like, the bullseye area. I worked at Target. That's how, that's what we call it. I don't know what y'all call it, but the technical term is called bullseye area. I'm thinking about juice, which I think I should put in here because I think that would be cute. Some juice or milk, preferably juice, but I mean, milk would be cool too. But it was $5 for that and it's heavy duty. So I think that was a steal. Then what I really wanted to show y'all, I got four of these. These little milk, small milk cartons, and they're not even just for milk. You can use them for juices and stuff, and that's probably what I'll end up using these for. But aren't these so cute? And you can twist the top off, obviously. And obviously, if you want to pour the juice, you can twist this off to pour it fully. But this is so cute. I was thinking about putting my juice in here or like herbal teas. I actually want to. Um, put some little cute little G or fruit water like putting water in here lemon slices that'd be so cute because it's clear and you can make it all cute but yeah definitely gonna use these for something I got four of them and they were only a dollar I really should have got more but I, w I didn't want to OD it but at the same time I needed that that's some more Don this show if am I the only one that used Don like I had some palm olive in there baby the best this liquid is Dawn, like Dawn, and the one with the duck on it, the preferably the platinum, because Dawn is going to get you right. Dawn going to get the grease out the pant, hats and pants, it's going to get the grease stains out, and the other ones, they be, you got to use like a whole bunch, and it's like, you can't never go wrong with it. With Dawn. Yeah, I just got two candles. This one is fresh strawberry hibiscus. Hibis Baby, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it smells really good. I don't know if I'm just getting into my, like, fruity era because I used to be, like, a warm girly, and I still am. Like, I don't really like too vibrant of a scent in my household. I feel like it will give me a headache, but I love shop. Anything smells strawberries or vanilla, I feel like it's just perfect. This actually smells really good. I wouldn't burn it for too long because it may give me a headache, but I definitely feel like I've been in my, like, bright scents. Like, I feel like warm scents are cool for, like, cozy times of the year. It's, like, fall, winter. But we enter in spring, and I want to smell bright and airy sometimes, you know? But then I got this, um, this one. I don't know the first word, but it says surf and sea. Um, and this is also a bit bright and airy. It kind of reminds me of fresh laundry, and it kind of reminds me... You know how certain scents remind you certain times of your life? It's just, ooh, smelling this brings back childhood memories. I know I'm not the only one, but smelling certain things, especially, <laughs> this sounds so bad, but especially certain scents, well, don't sound bad, but certain things that I like, if it's a candle and I remember somebody always burning this candle or if it's a certain scent that somebody used to wear, but around that time is when all my like trauma was happening like childhood trauma then i would literally like not buy the candle or i would get away from the scent because it would bring back memories that i don't want to think of so <laughs> i just i just feel like scents regulate your mind of certain things of your past hey yeah, yeah, i'm just rambling and rambling that is it that's all i got from um, Target. I'm actually about to do two DoorDash orders. I'm gonna give me a Chick-fil-A salad because I want one. Last night, um, I actually cooked this dinner, which y'all would have seen. Basically, y'all, it's the next day of the night routine video. So, last night I made that dinner. 
if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show y'all real quick. I tried it out for the first time and it was so good. Next time I will not use as much sausages. I'll probably substitute the sausages for shrimp. But look at that. That's what I made and the kids ate it up. And it's still a good, good bit left, a pot left. But um, I already ate some, but I want some Chick-fil-A. Like, I do want some Chick-fil-A. I want a Chick-fil-A salad, girl, right now. And then... I'm going to order some medicine for me and the kids, honestly, um, because I I need to get rid of this. I don't like being sick. I hate being sick. I hate having a, I hate having to sniff my nose every 20 seconds because, I mean, you can blow your nose, but it's like, I'm talking to y'all right now. But, yeah, y'all, I'm doing a lot of talking. But, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all later once probably my chick -fil Right when I cut the camera off, look who decided to wake up. I'm trying not to be all up in her face because I am sick, but dang. I thought she was at least going to be asleep for like an hour, y'all. But hold on, y'all. Y'all, guess what? On DoorDash, that's why I love DoorDash. That's why I get the members uh, the members deal where you get paid like $10 a month. Because right now, they're having a $10 off 12 So if you spend over $12, you get $10 off. So I just got a salad for... Because they be, they be taxing, child. So I just got a salad from Chick-fil-A for only $5. Plus, that's with the tip included. So I was like, dang, okay. And then they, they medicine and all that stuff that I got. I also got some laundry detergent because I have to do laundry today. I did it again. I'm like, oh, okay, DoorDash, I see you. I don't know how many times I can do it. Maybe it's just today only. But, baby, that's a deal. $20 in total, basically. Now, I'm waiting for my food, but... She's woke. I kind of want to show y'all. Dove Baby for Melanin is really great on her skin because she has really sensitive skin. And I was fearful of that. Like, it's cool with the other kids, but she has really sensitive skin. Why say hi, mamas? Say hi, mama. Hey, I love my daddy. A lot of y'all were saying she looks like me. She, I think she has my cheeks, if anything. But she look like her daddy. Okay, if y'all really watch the labor and delivery vlog on my channel, you would know she looks like her dad. Like all this up up, up here is her daddy. Down here is her. Okay, y'all. So I got my salads. Oh, that looks so good. I can't enjoy it because. Miss Ma'am over here. Like it looks so I just wanna dive in, but I can't. Y'all yesterday I did Bible study. Oh my god, it was amazing. Like I actually not like like I actually watched a sermon. It was amazing. You know how like you read you listen to scriptures or just certain things just like sometimes Things be messages for you, like God be telling you to do certain things so he can get a message across. Yesterday, I learned that everybody has an assignment. And it's crazy because I remember hearing a subscriber say this. Everybody has an assignment here on earth. We're not here for laughs and giggles. It's up to you to figure out what that assignment is and deliver it. The assignment appropriately the way God wants you to. God can only tell you what your assignment is through you just having that relationship with him. You would know what your assignment is for. Not for, but what it is. And it's up to you to actually pursue it the right, correct way. And like she was saying, sometimes we feel like we don't have enough tools to pursue what our assignment is. But if you look around and you look carefully and you do what you got to do, which is put your faith into God, you will see that you have all the tools you need. You just need to put it into God's hands. You have everything you will need, but you if you don't put it into God's hands, you don't have all the tools. I hope I said that right. God is working on me to pursue it because I've been putting a lot of stuff into God's hands because it be certain things that just be so heavy and I can't bear it. So once I give it to God, the weight has been lifted. It is what it is, you know? But God always on time. 
Y'all don't know how many times I done fell down on my back. Because I ain't going to be acting. I don't even one of them YouTubers that be acting like I'm just rich, living lavish. But y'all don't understand how many times I done fell down on my back. And God has picked me up. May not been when I wanted him to. May I been probably wanting him to do it way before I fell so hard. But he sure picked me up on the right time. I just be clicking random things and whatever God leads me to listen to is what I feel like he wants me to hear. So that's how I view it. But we finna listen to this sermon, y'all. And I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna be back because I gotta get Lila off the bus here soon. It's 142. She get off of, off the bus in literally an hour. So I'm gonna listen to this and then go get her. Baptized by John in chapter three. The heavens have been opened to him. My subject for today is push through. When Eve first began their relationship with God, there was a sense of secure attachment. Because if you'd have gave me everything I was open for, then I wouldn't even be here right now. I wish I had about 10 people in this room who didn't get everything they were open for. I was open to settle. I was open for breakthrough. I was open. I was so open that I found myself strung out. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, oh my God, I had to take like a little power nap. I am so, like, it feel, I feel like I'm getting worse. Oh my God. So, I got them some Benadryl. This is, better not jump off that bed. Oh my God, Kaden knows it's disgusting. I need to wipe it. It, like, everybody is in here is sick, so. This is some Benadryl. Um, it helps with runny nose, sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, stuffy nose, sinus congestion. It's in the flavor grape. The cup is cool for like Layla, but I like I like the syringe. So I'm gonna have to get the syringe for for them. Five milliliters. I'm oh, five milliliters. I'm gonna give Layla. That's great. Good job. High five. All right. Now I have to find the syringes to give it to Tayden and Kaden. So I found my syringe. Tayden wants some. He over here. I like to, mm, I'm going to actually put them inside here because they don't fit. I'm going to get them all five milliliters. You don't like it? <laughs> Gotta take a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Stop jumping on the bed, Katie. All done. <laughs> Drink it. You gotta drink it. No! Well, I'm gonna have to give him some more because he just spit it out. Um, and he's spitting it in trouble. Because why would you spit that out on my floor? So, let's try this again. So, Kane's crying because he doesn't want to take his medicine. So, it. We gonna uh, listen. Look, I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it with no kid. So what I'm gonna do is just come back, try to do it again. I try to give it to him again. He spit it out. So I'm not gonna keep wasting medicine. So he can just be mad. He can just be mad. But everybody else got their medicine. I'm about to make me some tea. That's why you need to drink your medicine. Yeah, he mad. But I'm gonna go ahead and make my tea. Like I said, I'm gonna make me some tea. I'm actually about to drink my mother's milk and just add some lemon and honey because it's like a two-in-one combo. I was gonna use this tea, which is like immunity tea, but I feel like I need one of those filters that filters all the chunks out, so I'm not drinking that. But you wanna get over a cold, get some honey and lemons. With a tea, with some tea. And so this is my cup that I had this morning. I had some this morning and it actually did me justice. I'm gonna put some ice mountain water in here. 
and warm up this water to each his own some people i need to give me a, remember when i did my vlog um if you haven't watched my fitness vlog episode two go watch it i had showed y'all the teacups like the not the tea kettles that i wanted because i want to do it the old-fashioned way and do it cute i don't want to keep warming up my water because that's hella radiation but that's what i'm left to do right now because i have no pots Unless I boil the water in a pan, which I don't got time for that. I just need my tea. I'm going to put it in the microwave real quick. Cut these and squeeze it. And then I like to put these in the actual tea with some honey. Okay. And then get your hot water. Yeah, I'm doing laundry too, if y'all wondering what that noise is. Get your mother's milk. Or if you, don't, if you ain't breastfeeding, you just sick, just get some green tea. Or lemon and ginger. Oh my God, I got ginger in there too. Ginger is really good. Put that tea bag in there. Um, put your honey. Where my honey at? Put your honey in there. To keep my tea bag in my, I don't know about y'all. But then put your lemons. Squeeze your lemon juice. Squeeze that lemon juice in there as much as you can. Stir it up a little bit. And let that sit for about five minutes. Let all that herbs and stuff be yeah. Let it gather its it, it's what it gotta do. And drink your, your tea. And I promise you, within a few days, you're gonna feel better period Ooh, i can't wait to drink this and it's like the warmth of it just soothes your throat and everything baby it just does something but i don't know is it because we live in the midwest and our weather is changing or what but like why is why yeah i had i don't know if y'all peeped but i told like i told y'all earlier i was gonna listen to a sermon and I listened to T.D. Jake's daughter, y'all see. And just something about listening to my sermons and stuff like that just does something to my spirit. Like, it just it's like God is delivering a message to me through other people. And it's just so satisfying because I know he be talking to me because the things are so relatable. And not only that, it don't even be that it's relatable. I think it's because I can feel inside me like my energy my uh my body just feels different it's like god is talking to me through somebody and like today's message that i listened to was really good and you know i think every day i'm gonna listen to you know that one was an hour but if i don't have an hour i'm gonna listen to at least 30 minutes because the messages be in the sermons and sometimes god just be want to reach to you and he reached through, he reached to you through people sometimes. So, and one thing about being sick, as long as your house is clean, you feel a little better. Because when that house is clean, you feel like, ugh. But baby, if you sick, if you sick and your house dirty, you gonna feel like, you gonna feel like you fighting the biggest battle of your life because it's just something about a clean house lighting the candles that's all even though i can't even smell like that i'm still finna burn these candles i'm finna straighten up because baby i'm going through it right now so that's what i'm finna do get myself together probably watch a few tv shows and when it's time for dinner we're gonna eat dinner and then when it's time to take a bath we're gonna take a bath and yeah, y'all. And call it a night. Period. Ooh. So I just got my mobile order from Target. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Everything is gonna relate to today being sick and everything like that. Like, it's essential. So tonight in my little spa aromatherapy bath, I'm going to be doing, um, 
a nice little layout with candles lit everywhere. And this one um, is vanilla bean, amber, and cozy cashmere, ashwood, and pop. Girl, just, just look at it. So this is what I'm going to be lighting everywhere. And these smell really good, even though I can hardly smell. I can smell a little bit. Um, next, I got these tissues that I'm going to put. I don't know if I'm going to put it next to Lila's bed because I can just see the boys just taking them out, taking them out everywhere. So I may just put these in her bathroom because we have two separate bathrooms. So this one will go on my nightstand and then the other one I got will go on hers. Um, well, her bathroom. And it has lotion on it. And I got the Vicks kind because y'all know Vicks is amazing. The um, eucalyptus. And it helps you're able to like breathe better. So I got two of these. Y'all remember the little boy? Is this a different? This is a different little boy. Y'all, If y'all know, y'all know. The little boy on the commercial. This is a different one. And I got another bag. I wanted to try something new because I've seen this. But this is some kids stuffy nose and cough vapor bath soak so this is something different i've never tried this before but let me smell it i can't even smell it but definitely gonna get in my bath after they eat in this oh this month just like vix okay but it's plant-based and it doesn't have synthetic perfumes, synthetic dyes, all that, you know, bad stuff in it. So it's supposed to be really good or whatever. And it's pediatrician, dermatologist tested. But yeah. Um, you pour a generous amount into warm bath and allow your child to soak while breathing in the soothing vapors. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully this opens everything up, AKA mommy. I got the Dr. Teal's one. So this is just the Dr. Teal's um, eucalyptus and spearmint to help with my like um, nose and everything congested. And I like, I got the bubble bath and the, um, and the Epsom salt. I want to soak in some Epsom salt, so I like to mix those two together, and that's all I got in Target. But yeah, y'all, that's the things that I got, or whatever. I get a kids' day medicine, I just drink my tea, I feel really good. So yeah, I'm gonna come back to y'all when it's time for the kids to eat dinner, then get them in the bath, then lay them down, get them some more medicine, and then take care of baby Harlow. And get myself together. Now, I guess who decided to pop up? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> My baby daddy. Anyways, we about to go ahead. Well, I'm about to go ahead. <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and get the kids food ready and warm up they leftovers. Yeah, Smacking in my damn video <laughs> is wild. <laughs> my edges don't gotta be Bro. cute for the camera. I'm sorry, nah. I don't gotta get all, I'm not, I'm my people know how nah, I get, I get cute. I get cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna heat up these leftovers. You wanna try some? Yeah. Why didn't you try some there? I, 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 I so why you try some now while you got two hot dogs instead of my leftovers? I wanted the hot dogs and my chips. You didn't want my food. I wanted my hot dogs and chips. Wow. You didn't want my food just said. You wanted my hot dogs and chips. Warmed up two hot dogs instead of eating the food that I made. My food nasty. I ain't taste it. I wanted my hot That's dogs. That's why you go with trash taste. Like, bro, just... Stop cussing for my food. I'm gonna warm up these leftovers, get them some. I don't have no garlic bread like I had the other day. Can you make them? Can you make the plates? I thought I doing dishes. No, I didn't. You ain't wa you gonna wash the dishes. Yeah, you just. No, that's, that's what we said off I'm camera. I'm playing. Hmm. Well, you can mute up where I play music. Do what? While I play music, while I do dishes. You gonna do them right now? Okay, do them right now. You want, you, I'm taking them with me. Yeah, <laughs> you fried. Okay, my, size, yeah. my baby daddy finna do the dishes. He only do it. He only do it because we vlog it. Cause oh, if, well, oh my! 
Bro, stop because, lying like I don't be cleaning up, bro. Because if we wasn't vlogging, he'd be like, nah, you do the dishes. But yeah, after he do these dishes, we gon' that's when we go get him the food. Oh, why are you wiping your hands? I wipe your nose. Looking like a single mom. I guess that's fair. He you I change the diapers, you wash dishes. That's cool. I'm outside in it. I'm 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 outside in it. I'm 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 Uh-uh, you gotta wash the stove off. It's part of the uh, kitchen. Oh, yeah, say kitchen. You ain't saying you love a, do We this. love a, a man that can clean. Okay, spotless. Girl, I can always clean. Who, Ma? When you was pregnant, who was cleaning? Don't make it seem like that. Who, who, when you was pregnant, who was cleaning? Don't make it seem like that. Pot of food. They ain't want none of it. That's crazy. Got they plates. And y'all, this was good. I don't know what he talking about. He ain't even tried. <clears throat> you can hear all in my voice that I'm sick. I'm gonna have to wake him up, but he's still in there asleep. And I hate waking kids up out they sleep. I really do. I gotta warm this up. I'll be back once I warm it up, y'all. Yeah. Good job. I don't know, get your spoon. Good, Teddy. Yo, he eating peppers. <laughs> Told you this was fire. I'm just gonna see what baby girl doing right now. You looking up, mama? She be having the toughest time waking up. I don't know how. I really don't. I finally get to see me and my twin. Y'all think she look like me? Let me know. <laughs> Close over me and her case, case ass. I don't know. I asked him, I yeah, because somebody had said, I think I already told them earlier, yeah. but somebody has said she Put looked just like you did. Dad's jeans even dry. She just got, I told them that they she just got this of me. Everything else, you hungry? I'm about to feed her, but anyways, y'all, they eating, and once they finish eating. I'm going to go ahead and put some in the bath. And then I'm going to get in the bath. And then we're going to call it a night. In the shower, he going to watch Harlem. While I get in the bath, I mean. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. It's 9.39. And I just came to realization that I'm tired. Like, <laughs> I'm tired and I'm sick. So, like, what I'm going to do is get the kids their baths tomorrow morning because it's about that time. About to lay down and go to sleep. Stop! Then he's supposed to help me tomorrow morning. <laughs> he's supposed to. That's what he say, y'all. But I already know. As soon as I be like, Drew, wake up. No. He go. Up. He go. Uh, 
He not going to wake up. Mm -hmm. Mom going to do my bath, too. Mm -hmm. I'm just so tired, y'all. Like, I've been doing stuff all day. Like, all day. Like, my eyes are low. My battery dying. All right, y'all. We finna catch y'all tomorrow or whatever. Good I'm night. tired. I'm tired and the battery dying. And good night. See y'all tomorrow. No stress, I mean it's just sincerely And as a nigga who was once in your shoes Living with nothing to lose I hope one day you hear me Always gonna be a bigger house somewhere But nigga feel me Long as the people in that motherfucker love you dearly Always gonna be a whip that's better than the one you got Always gonna be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rock Always gonna be a bitch that's better out there on the tour But you ain't never gonna be happy till you love yours No such thing as a life that's better than yours Love yours No such thing as a life that's better than yours I love y'all. Heart beating fast, let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, man, snakes, snakes in the Hey y'all, so as y'all seen, I just got out the bath or whatever and the kids are laying down. They just came from school and actually let me set y'all down so like i was saying it's the next day by the way it's not the morning time y'all i literally had to have drew help me and get layla on the bus and everything like that because literally i had the worst headache i still have a headache i'm actually about to take some more medicine I had the worst headache i was so congested last night like i'm definitely about to make some more tea um <clears throat> and i just was not feeling good so I literally had him wake up because he's the only one that's not sick. Um, I had him wake up and put handle everything. So that gave me a like breather. Um, let me spray this on me. Um, but yeah, that was a huge help. So now it's later on in the evening. Earlier, I had to do a parent teacher meeting with um, Tatum's dad and uh, <coughs> at his school. And Tatum has learned so much, and she's basically just going over like his progression, how he's been doing, or whatever. And my baby has really just like grown. And y'all know, I used to be very sensitive about the topic I was dancing around the autism thing because it's so many insensitive people here on the internet that I learned that I just don't want to put all the bases out. That's why for a while, like, I stopped doing videos with the kids because. It'll just be like those comments and I tend to delete them because I don't want that to stay on my, I don't want that negative, negativity to stay on my channel. But it would be comments talking about Tayden and whatever and stuff like that and it used to bother me. But you know what? It is what it is. But Tayden has grown so much, learned so much. Like this school is really helping me and it's giving me the help that I need because he it's things that I didn't even know he could do that he could do now, you know. <clears throat> and the best thing about it is they're hands on and he's always with his one on one therapist is what they call him instead of a teacher, the therapist. So he always has his own personal therapist like he's not sharing them with amongst other kids. They're able to tend to his specific needs, which is amazing. But yeah, y'all, just wanted to tell y'all that his little meeting went really great. It was an hour meeting, and we definitely got some got some knowledge on how to handle things as well, especially with his behaviors. But yeah, um, later on, I'm actually going to give the kids all a bath. I may end up vlogging. I honestly kind of might end it here just because I'm trying to just not worry about vlogging because I'm sick and I'm tired and right now they're taking a nap so it's pointless but you know I think I'm gonna end it here but like I was saying um what was I gonna say tomorrow I have a job interview at a very very nice fancy place okay and I made sure I got me some dress shoes today they're really nice not my baby was crying. They're really nice. I got me some dress pants. I got me a nice fluffy shirt. It's gonna be really cute, y'all. So I just pray because that job pays very good. So um, I always I told God like if I do 
jump back into the nine to five world um, for the time being. I want my next job to be something that I can dress up like classy. Like I wanna wear slacks, I wanna wear dress shoes and not feel out of place, you know? So hopefully this job is the one for me. If it's not, it's not and that is totally fine. God knows it's for me and that's, that's how I'm gonna put it into his hands. I'm taking these braids out as well. They were cute, you know, they was fun while they lasted, but I cannot, I don't know if it's just me, I cannot keep braids in for too long. I would literally go insane. I feel basic. I feel like the same person. <laughs> like, I know that sounds weird, but I just like to switch up my styles. So I'm going to be doing this, like, uh, what is this called? Curtain bangs look. I already bought the stuff for it at the hair store. So, yeah, I'm doing that for the interview tomorrow so I can look cute and classy. Um, but yeah, y'all, that is pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll catch y'all my next one. I love y'all so, so, so much and I'll see y'all when I see y'all.